collecting. So I'm sitting here shuffling my card. And I'm getting somebody fucking with somebody's car. They fucking with their tires. Something, y'all. Let's get into it. Y'all might have to get a restraining order from whoever the fuck this is. Okay. So let's see. Spirit. What's going on for the collective, y'all? Archangel Michael, please come in and protect me as I channel this energy. Somebody trying to make it look like it's somebody else, too. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like that friend that steal your rent money help you look for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, and I feel like they're doing a lot of shit to somebody. They're making somebody feel like they can't trust nobody. And so it causes that person to run into the arms of the very motherfucker that's fucking with them. Y'all. Look at that honesty. I can't expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Because I feel like deep down, either in you or this person... Whoever it was that they were saying was doing it, like it's something was telling them, no, it don't make sense. This ain't right. It ain't adding up. Okay. Yeah. Gratitude. I'm thankful. Excuse me. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. But I feel like some type of truth is going to come out. This person going to see it. So they can come. Because like I'm telling you, somebody's running right to the person that's fucking with them. Ooh, abundance and forgiveness. Uh, somebody could be going to like a psychic or um, an intuitive person or a tarot card reader who's going to be revealing some type of truth. Because I feel like this person was going crazy. They was either in the maybe eight, nine of swords, feeling like the ten of wands, two twelve on the phone. Yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Tower. What I, I just said, it's in the ones, y'all. Yeah, and they were running right in the home. Maybe someone was scared to go home, or I don't know. For some of these, for some of these people, you live with the person, um, or it's like a friend or an ex or somebody, but you, you're running right, literally running right to the motherfucker that's fucking you up. Maybe this person keeps getting you fired from your jobs. They keep fucking with your cars. Somebody could be keying someone's shit up, putting sugar in their tank. Like, they really creating a lot of drama. Five of Wands. In this person's life. And it's, there could be something with abundance. Y'all keep picking this up. There's something with abundance. Somebody wants to seem as if they have been the helping hand. <coughs> when they've been the one causing the problems. So, say for instance, you got hurt on the job. And you've been waiting on um, a settlement to come through. Somebody been causing all these motherfucking issues. And you coming out. Y'all, <laughs> oh God, 53 on the phone. This person been fucking with somebody so hard and you weren't right to them. Y'all know that movie Scream? <laughs> That's what I'm getting. When it was the boyfriend the whole time. That's what I'm picking up right here. Somebody's causing complete towers in this person's life. And I feel like because this, either being with this person, no, nah, it's got something to do with money. It's got something to do with money, man. Somebody is about to get a large lump sum or something. And you run right. To, oof, child. You running right to him. You running right to the motherfucker that's fucking with you. And you got to see the truth of it. Spirit's like enough is enough. Because this person doing like the unimaginable. And it's like you can't get a break. It's one thing after the next. And this person is like. Somebody could have. Some issues going on up there, you know. But baby, somebody's very possessive over your ass. Or hell, they could even be handing you money. 444 on the phone. It's They are so good at it. You just would not never think it was them. You just would never think it was them. They so motherfucking smooth. Alright, so 
You got the page of swords here. This is the spine, the stalking. I say you might get a restraining order, okay? Could be a, a Libra or some of y'all could be a Libra or someone could work for the justice system. But I feel like justice is coming in. Justice is upright. Justice is coming in because something been going on for way too long. Okay, yeah, you need to walk the fuck away from this situation. And the moon, look at the moon. Like, bro, I try to tell your ass. <laughs> look at the moon, y'all. It could have been somebody ex spouse, could have been Pisces, or Pisces could be going through this. But um, the moon is like, bro. And look how this this person been through hell and back. They is hunched over. Shoes look like they a little bit too little. Them toes is knotted up in them boots like that right there. I mean, baby, maybe they lost a lot. <laughs> For some of y'all, <laughs> this is not funny. Just let me stop. <laughs> y'all, them boots too little. <laughs> Somebody even doing something. Okay, say a person wears a size. <laughs> Maybe they wear a size eight. The person who committing the crimes could wear a size eight. <laughs> and they got on a size six boot. <laughs> so it don't look like you still. Y'all dealing with somebody who fucking crazy. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> the way this mother look, y'all. Let me, oh shit. <laughs> Baby, somebody is fucking with you. <laughs> All hours of the night. This motherfucker gonna never get no damn sleep. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what is going on? <clears throat> this type of motherfucker hiding in the bushes and shit. You, you, yes, you got to see the truth for it. You got to see the truth for this shit. So they could have even, <coughs> could have like committed a crime. And, like, people could be measuring the footprint. But I'm telling you right now, they ain't got the right size shoe on. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It's all going to be illuminated. With the sun car right here, all the truth is going to come out. And you can go and have a brand new beginning because you have been tested. With the strength car, some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo because the sun and the strength. But I feel like y'all have been tested to the fucking max. And what I say, it could be something about money. You already got abundance here. Then you got the Ace of Pentacles. Y'all. Wow. I can't believe this. Like, this person is really doing a lot of shit to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I feel like it's been going on for a long time. And for a long time, you didn't know what in the fuck was going on. It's this motherfucker. Yeah, you're going to figure it out. The Page of Pentacles is all about learning something new. This is like looking at evidence. So that you could be looking at that size six where it's going to be a heavy indention because they walking slow as fuck because them shoes is too little and they did that shit on purpose. Them shoes too little. This person sneaking around at night doing shit. For real. This the type of motherfucker go into your trash. Y'all, this person is doing a lot. <sighs> Could be somebody you was in a relationship with. Like I said, the movie Scream, it was the boyfriend the whole time. You were right too. <laughs> this is not funny. It's fucked up. This is real fucked up. Maybe you work with them with the Eight of Pentacles. Or maybe because of their job, they're able to get away with this shit, or they know how to how to get away with certain things. But baby, what else, spirit? We saw that towel, and that's because you're gonna figure it out. It could be a Scorpio. Look at this, the death card. There needs to be an ending, just the fuck period. And see, here's the thing: some people won't go with their instinct. Because it's it's almost like spirit been telling whoever's going through this, whoever's being 
like harassed or fucked with spirit has been telling them something ain't right but this person they need to know everything well if it ain't it it's got all listen you ain't got to tell me but once that the person that i'm putting 100 trust in is the one that's fucking with me i'm out the door okay but this person don't trust their intuition because their intuition been telling them uh-huh somebody from their past <laughs> That they need to free they sell from six of cups. They need to get the fuck on away from this person. But every time they something keep pulling me back, yeah. They come and slash your tires and you got to call them and give you a ride to work. Hello? They come and bust out your window, so you got them flies flying through the window. You got to go and spend the night with them. They call up to your job complaining, you get fired, you got to ask them for money. Y'all, okay. Baby, let's pull the situations deck. And, and, and let's get off into it. Yeah, Archangel Michael's like, enough is enough. For some of y'all, if they were planning to hurt you, Spirit said, uh-uh, not today, pimp. Prevent from harm. Divine intervention. Protection. Because you know a motherfucker got to be, listen, if they put on shoes two, two sizes too small just to get away with something, baby, no. Mm -mm. Time to go. Time to go. Yep, there you go. Get your ass on the fuck up out there, though. Huh? You better. And I'm telling you, something is for money or something. Or maybe they kept making you dependent on them. And you're like, well, it couldn't be this person. They're the ones always helping me. It's time you see it. You're going you're gonna to see it. Okay, you're going to see it. Maybe y'all been broke up because this it says single, current status available. Maybe this person keeps you single. Every time you get into a new relationship, they make you think the person that you're dating is crazy, but it's really them. It's really some from someone from your past. 212 on uh 12 12 on the phone. So, I mean, because this is stalkerish. This is not good. Every time you get into a new connection, get a new friend, you start feeling something for that person or y'all getting along, whoever the stalker is from the past, that is probably just a friend or a baby daddy, a baby mama. They start doing shit to you and they'll tell you what well, shit. None of that started happening until you started dealing with old boy or old girl. And then you start, you, you break up with them or you cut them off, block communication because you think the person is like, why everybody I get with is crazy? It ain't. Everybody ain't crazy. It's this motherfucker that you've been dealing with for years that you keep running back to. You're the only safe thing I know. Look. <laughs> You're the only safe place I know. You like my safe haven. What would I do without you? And that's exactly how they want to keep it. What would you do without me? Yeah. You ain't going to never find nobody better than me. All them other men is crazy. Because this could be a man that's doing this to you. Or this could be a woman that's doing this to you. But they want you to keep running back. And that's exactly what you do. And they give you what you need. Run your hot bath for it after you done been chased through the woods by who you think was the new person when it was really this motherfucker. And somehow, they beat your ass home. It's like, this motherfucker got Michael Mob powers. You know, Michael Mob don't never run, but he always right up on your ass. <laughs> it's something like that, y'all. I'm not even bullshitting. I'm dead ass serious. This person is the one that keep fucking with you. And you have to keep going back. You need a ride. You need to borrow some money. They, they got to get you, like, caught up. Well, now, you know, you just borrow 5000 because your transmission went out. And you, well, you know you got to pay me back, right? Yeah. And you, this whole time, you've been thinking, I got a cool baby daddy. He cool. Every time I call him, he right there. He going to make sure he right there. Hello, it's time you look at it from a different perspective. You think all these all these men I date, all these women I date, they're crazy as fuck. No, it's this one motherfucker. Some of y'all never dated this person. Y'all just friends. For some of y'all, it's same sex. Hate to be the motherfucker break it to you. For some of y'all, the same sex. They want you. I want you to want me to. And maybe you ain't like that. Desires can't make it the fuck up. 
Maybe you don't like them like that. You feel me? And it's like, this could have been happening for so long. Like, every time you meet somebody, some fucked up shit happened. And you think, damn, I just keep running into these crazies. And it, like, say this is a best friend. And so they're like, well, we should just try to be together. You know, it must be meant for us to be together. You always come back or it never works out with nobody else. That's because this motherfucker is doing that. This is a fucking certified stalker. This motherfucker got on shoes that's too little. Look at them feet. I bet they got bunions on them bitches. Look at these damn boots. They bunched up at the toe because they too little. Somebody doing some shit to make it look like somebody else. Oh my God. Oh, I'm, like, I'm sorry, cuz I don't know what y'all going through, okay? This is not a laughing matter. I am not trying to make light of y'all's situation, but baby, you need to figure it out. The very motherfucker you're running to is the very person the spirit is trying to protect you from. And that the God's him truth. That's the God's him truth, okay? Uh huh. Pretending, living beyond their means, fake, something about money. Maybe you got money coming through, child. I don't know. Mm. Offer, proposal, commitment. So don't tell me you just, well, fuck it. We might as well be together. <sighs> Baby, don't do that. Financial support and cop. I just seen I just seen that damn copycat card. Cause I'm telling y'all, somebody is. See, y'all think we be crazy. You're going to find out, though. You're going to find out. This person is all the drama, cast conflict going on in your life. They the cause of it. They've been triggering the fuck out of you. Maybe they got an all-white car with darts in the windows. I just talked about this in my other reading. On my other channel. You can't see through it. It's this motherfucker. Look at him. Pop it up on your head. Like, damn, why? Everywhere I go, you right there. Well, that's good you pulled up, because now I got a flat tire. I need you to give me a ride home. They did that shit. The fuck? Y'all better start putting two and two together and stop thinking, oh, man, I got a cool-ass best friend. Or I got a cool-ass boss. Because this could be anybody in your life. Or I got a cool baby mama. Or I got a cool baby daddy. No, you got a... Somebody keeping your ass trapped. And you see that SOS? They put you in situations where you need help. And they show up and say the day that they have created. I'm trying to figure out how, how, how you have not seen this yet. Some of y'all could be going through this right now. Just need to get away for a little while. Get off from around this person. Take you a little vacation or something. Turn the phone off because with this stalker energy, you know, I just talked about cloning phones on my other reading. This is the type of motherfucker that's got a tracking device in your car. They're cloning your phone. Every fuck and and it's nowhere is too far for this person to travel. They stay with a full tank of gas. Cause they already done planned it out. Tuesday, I'm gonna uh do what they be telling themselves. Tuesday, I'm going to put about three nails right there at the edge of the tire. He's going to probably get about 50 miles down the road and he's going to call me. What? Like somebody be, <clears throat> okay. It's time for you to come up out of it. Ascension. You need to ascend from the bullshit. This person been keeping you blocked with them little ass shoes on their damn feet. Okay. Yeah. The spirit. Retaliation. Punish, payback, revenge. Obsession. Well, I say stalker. Obsession. Must have. Must have control of you. Must have contact. Something. Hmm? Then you got this telepathic dream. So, here's the thing. One of these people that this person fucked up with you because like i'm telling you every time you meet somebody new you think they crazy because it always ends or shit starts missing and it's like well damn nothing came up missing none of this started happening till i got with this person okay but 
whoever they fucked you up with was somebody you was actually meant to be with. So that's why the truth has to come out. Because there's something that you are meant to experience with like a twin flame type of energy. We already saw the Ascension card. And this person just keep blocking it. And I feel like they were able to do that with other people, but not with this high level soulmate. You have, the truth has to come through, okay? Jealous, jealousy, envy, petty. We already see punish, payback, revenge, obsession, page of swords, and stalkerish. This could be a woman. This could be a man. But baby, whoever the fuck it is, what I say, spirit say, it's time for you to ascend. There was a connection that you you were meant to experience this lifetime that would have freed you from it would have been your abundance that's what i feel and um this person mm, they always planning and plotting on your head look now this says two or more people we do see a group of women um gossiping right here so <clears throat> then i say somebody waiting on some money settlement So again, this person wants to look like they've always been there. I was there when you when your last girlfriend cut your tie. Now, bitch, you cut my tie. Let's let's keep it a buck, huh? How you know with three nails right there at the edge of it? How the fuck did you know to be at the damn around the corner from the tie place? You 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 better start putting this shit together. Okay, you just, yeah, this person's yeah. They've been sending you. Emotional roller coaster, loving you ain't nothing healthy. Okay, so I do feel like it's somebody that you really wanted to be with. There was a strong connection there, but things started happening in your life, and you thought because you've always been able to come back to this person that y'all was so cool, you thought, well, it must be the new person. But no, it's the very motherfucker that you keep running back to. So somebody was trying to trap you up with them, entrapment, um, pregnancy, money, or heartstrings, so manipulation. But I'm telling you, there's something about money, settlement, abundance, ace of pentacles. Okay, but once you find this true fire, you're going to want forgiveness. You're going to want forgiveness from whoever it was that you was blaming. I feel like you was blaming somebody. You just thought that everybody was crazy. You just like, oh my God, my last three dates have been fucking psychos. My last three boyfriends, my last three girlfriends, whatever. But no, it's not. It's really not. It's really this motherfucker trying to retaliate, punish, pay back, revenge. Like, how dare you go and move on to someone else? But in your face, it's hee hee ha ha. But behind the scenes, because they always watching. Obsession with the page of sword, they, oof. Look at them. Panic, anxiety, scared. Mm, what they scared of? Maybe scared of you finding out the truth. Yeah, because I feel like spirit, when either spirit is showing you something with this gratitude so that you can remove the negative people in your life. Because it's time for you to ascend. Didn't I say it was somebody you were supposed to be with? Look, come together. Reconciliation, spiritual union soul contract and there's it's because you are meant to experience um things with this person on a higher level with the ascension card that this low vibrational person would have never been able to show you the karmics are put in our lives to teach us lessons and maybe your ass is hard-headed because you kept running back to the person who was fucking you over you know refusing to see it from a different perspective well why would my baby daddy do that he the one that gave me the gas money. Or he the one that bought the car for me. Why would he do that? Why not? The fuck? But I get it. It's easier to think that the new people that are in your life are the crazy motherfuckers. And the person that you've been knowing the longest is the realest, right? Logically, it makes sense. But I tell y'all all the time, you can meet a motherfucker today. And they can have better intentions for your life than a motherfucker that you've known your whole life. And that's just the truth of it. Hello? 
Okay? So you're literally being protected from the one you kept running to. Is there anything else? Talk. Wow. Like, wow. Watching. I always feel like somebody watching. And they is watching. They, they spy on you spiritually. They spy on you through your windows. This motherfucker be in the bushes. Yo, what is going on? This is fucking nuts, bro. Yeah, you got to get rid of them, baby. Your time throw this. You tired of playing the same old song? Same two keys. Y'all hit the same two keys with this person. Same bullshit. Maybe they go after the same things. Maybe you're someone with money. And um. You know, this person could have you thinking that everybody wants your money. It's this motherfucker wants your money. Look at him. They is in rage. Y'all, this is this person's dangerous, okay? Which is why you have protection here. Yeah, they're dangerous. I mean, just the fuck, period. Okay, obsession, stalking. We got the stalker card right here with the page of swords. Then you got this eyeball. Big ass eyeballs, okay? And uh, look at them toes. Might be some knots on corners of their damn toes. Because this motherfucker, whatever they got to do, they'll do it. They'll put on two little ass shoes or big ass shoes. Whatever to make some. Oh, they made my footprints. Like, they could be committing crimes. I'm sure if your car was being vandalized or things were coming up missing, you probably was filing police reports. Okay, so... Maybe police had to come out and look at it. Them little ass shoes don't match this person, but it is this person. There's something going on. Yeah. Toxic, unhealthy ass behaviors, people. And it's time for you to remove that shit because you are meant to experience something higher, a higher level of commitment. Whether this is just a, a job, Cause this could be a boss. Maybe y'all crossed that line and gave that boss a little bit of that thing and they didn't know how to act, you know. Maybe that was a long time ago, but they don't know how to get over you. Or it's somebody from your past. That's all I know, okay? They don't know how to get over. <clears throat> and like I said, for some of y'all, this is just a friend that you don't want like that. But they made you feel, it's like, they know they couldn't, uh, you you weren't, you were not attracted to them. For those of you where this is a friend, they know you were not attracted to them. So they had to put you in a vulnerable position by making you feel like everybody that you dealt with was fucking psycho. And you can only, I mean, like, they put you in the 10 of wands. That's heavy ass energy. Got gotcha. you scared. You don't know what to do, when to do, and how to do. If this is same sex, and you, you know, you know, maybe you had a couple drinks, and you were like, "Well, just fuck it. Let's just try it. You know, see what it's like." Maybe you tried it, and that ain't for you. Maybe this person wanting to retaliate because of that. That's for some of y'all. Others of you, it's just a simple fact that. It's over the death. It's over between the two of y'all. Okay, and you done met somebody else with this strong like you even dream about this other person. Okay, with this ascension, synchronicities, 11, 11, 2, 2, 2. But some of y'all are a divine counterpart. So when you met that other person, of course, it was going to be a strong ass connection. Trying to go back to this energy wouldn't, it wouldn't have never been the same. So they had to put you in a position where you just really had no choice. And they made your ass feel safe. They already knew what you needed because they set they set it up that way. You're tired and stressed out. You call them. They got you a hot ass bath ready. Some fried chicken wings with some hot sauce. And you just like, man, fuck it. I'm done dating. I'm tired of dating these psycho motherfuckers. I'm just going to just chill. I'm just going to stay single and keep dealing with my friend or keep dealing with whoever this person is. And they showed you in other ways that they were dependable. 
reliable, loyal, but they really fucking psycho. Okay. Yes, I told you. There's real, genuine, unconditional love between you and a person that you... That's who you're going to want forgiveness from. You thought that motherfucker was doing all this shit to you. Mm-mm. It's this motherfucker trying to retaliate. They, they're jealous, envious. This could be somebody who's older than you. For some reason, they know they don't compare. So they have to literally make you feel isolated and alone. So where you just come back running to them. And you do, and they be right there. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, he broke your heart. I know it's okay. Let me make you feel good. Come here, let me make you feel good. Some shit like that, bro. Sis, whoever says I'm talking to. Told you you was a twin flame. Okay, but this baby, this drama queen from the past, that you, this could have been somebody's ex spouse for some of y'all. Long term commitment, drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos. That's the motherfucker doing that five ones from the past. <laughs> baby, for money. Maybe they, I told you, karmic. I said karmic, so in our lives, to teach us lessons. You know, maybe maybe you ain't had no money. They was the one giving you the money or vice versa. Somebody was hustling somebody. Okay? And they know they couldn't compare to this connection that you had with someone else. So they really had to, like, destroy your life. And I feel like they were the deed. They destroyed your life and put that shit on somebody else. I want to look at one more deck. But yeah, you, you, you got a twin, baby. And it's time that you get with that person. You got to ascend up out of this. This is so fucking low vibrational. Low vibrational. Okay. What I told you. It's cuffing season. I'm telling you, it's time for you to leave this shit the fuck behind because somebody need help. Hello? Somebody need help. Period. And see, your ass would jump to a conclusion. Without having all the facts, without having all the information. You just say, oh shit, the, the last three motherfuckers I done dated, they done been psycho, so let me just deal with this person. It's safe. At least I know my baby daddy ain't gonna do this. Or at least I know my baby mama ain't gonna do that. They was the ones, or this best friend, or whoever the fuck this is. Or this ex, and maybe in your face they act like they don't want you, right? Like somebody was playing with your top. They were really playing with your top, man. And you just kept running back. Something keep pulling me back. Yeah, the fact they slicing your ties and shit. Yeah, so yeah, now look, gratitude. Uh-huh. You you grateful now. And I feel like some of y'all could have like passed over loved ones, maybe a grandmama or an aunt or a mother, somebody like that. This person who lives in the spiritual realm has been working hard to get you to see something that you maybe didn't want to see. You jump to conclusions, child. Don't do that. You make an ass out yourself. Cause Whoever says you're dealing with, you don't need me to take. It's right here. You need a little bit of help. And that's okay. That's okay. But uh, what's this? Yeah, he was confused. Absolutely. fucking lootly. You was confused. You didn't know what the fuck was going on. You were scared. You were like, hell no. You ever see? You, you accused the wrong motherfucker. You went the wrong way. Yes, you did, huh? 33, 33 on the phone. You went the wrong way. Poor thing. But, you know. Mm, somebody could be getting fired. Ooh, child, somebody could be getting kicked out. Wrong way, catfish told you. It be that. And that was the major piece to the puzzle that you was missing. The very motherfucker who was fucking with you was making you feel bound to that current situation. Basically, this is saying you was running right to the arms of the person who was harming you. And you would have never thunk it. <laughs> who would have thunk it? Okay, but then I tell you, Spirit was trying to get your ass signs and symbols. Then hold on, wait a minute. You need to get the fuck away from this person. For some of you, they have a position of power to where they can do this and get away with it. But somebody could be, you know, losing their job. All right, and look, evil eye. I feel like the person that you are now grateful for, that you were confused about about at the beginning, you grateful for this person now because gratitude is out here twice, right? They are very envious of that person. They don't, they can't stand that person. Okay. Yep. Starting rumors. 
Yeah, that's this person telling you none of that shit happened till you started dating that new. No, bruh. Mm -hmm. Blackmail. Mm -hmm. So, guess what? For some of y'all, this is like sexual blackmail. Because maybe you tried a little something, something. And now, now this person like, well, if you leave, I'm going to tell everybody this, that, and third. Hey, and? Okay? Told you. Look at her. Got a gun behind her back and everything. This motherfucker is like crazy. Listen, I ain't no psychiatrist, psychologist, no none of that shit. We say crazy when, when motherfuckers is just not acting right. It's just a slang, okay? Let me just put it like that. It's just, just slang. But this for some of y'all, this person is a professional and they was lying in court. What did I tell you? They're putting on shoes that's too little for them. Or like getting somebody else to do. So I feel like they did it. They got them. They got the gun in the hand. This person was really fucking with you and your life, your mental state and everything. And you kept running right back to them. Could be a Virgo, but Spirit says it's time for you to take a moment to self-reflect. Really look at the situation. Because it's time for you to cleanse. Get the fuck from away from these folks, man. I'm telling y'all. Then I say you was uh, filing police reports. Look at this motherfucker. Somebody could have even testified at something. Somebody's definitely standing in court line. And for some of y'all, this person is the professional. Told you. Some of y'all, a crime was committed. Look at this. Physical altercation? Somebody could have got somebody beat up. So this card, there's like three or four men jumping one man. Somebody could have got somebody beat up. And then they lied and said it was the new person. Well, none of that, none of that wouldn't have happened until you start talking to the new person. This energy keep doing this shit to you, man. You need to leave this behind for once and for all. Okay, now this person comes to that breaking point. Look, spell word. Yeah. Cause you starting to see the truth of it. You starting to see through the fog. This is somebody who by any means necessary. Nothing is too far fetched for this person to do. Like I said, this is a motherfucker. Maybe they wear heels a lot. There's something about the shoes. I was looking at them damn boots. The boots was too little. They were too tight. So, yeah, I got to take how it resonates. Somebody was lying on somebody hard. Real hard. Catfishing your ass and you run right to me. Oh, please help me. Help me, please. <laughs> it's not funny because I don't know what's like with that physical altercation. Some of y'all could have got hurt. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not laughing at y'all's situation. It's just crazy how this right here is happening. You know, it's crazy what motherfuckers are doing. All to keep your ass single. But spirits, it's cutting season, boo. You are meant to experience a high-level soulmate. You got to come from around this person. Okay? King of Wands. It's time to go. The King of Wands is a go-getter. So it's time to go get what the fuck you want. Okay, so let me give y'all a message right quick. Spirit, yeah, vacuum away the fear, release and surrender, family. Look at that. The situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member. This could have been a family member. You have uh, brothers and sisters who don't want you to get into a relationship because that, that's going to take away from them. Say, for instance, you're helping a family member. Well, if you get a new boyfriend or no girlfriend, you ain't we ain't gonna be able to go to the club no more. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to uh let me borrow money no more. Maybe you're somebody who just give, give, give. Right? Somebody else coming to the picture who could have probably shown you that these motherfuckers was using you. Cause then we see that car hustling, surviving. That somebody was hustling someone. And you, you just didn't want to see the truth of it. But that's okay. You you you're gonna have to. Spirit gonna show you like you, you got to see this. The situation need balance. 
something is way the fuck out of whack and it just don't make sense, okay? So you have third eye chakra. It's safe for you to see the energy of love and all of its forms such as angels, auras, and visions. Maybe you're going through an awakening. We did see ascension. And I feel like it's because somebody ancestors have been working really hard to show them the truth. And maybe somebody was just going on what's happening on the physical. But when you are a twin flame, you got to know. But see, that's the thing. You got to know who you are. You got to know thyself. Anyway, changing direction, wedding, and creative project. So, I don't know if you're about to get married to somebody else or you're walking away from someone else. I just see changing direction. But it says, <coughs> sorry, y'all. The changes that you are experiencing are divinely directed. Because you needed to wake up and see something. Okay? Also, with this abundance here, like I did the reading the other day, spirit ain't going to let you keep eating with the enemy. Sometimes spirit be having all these blessings right there, and they like, well, we can't get them to you till you get ready to eat motherfucking thieves or false-ass people. Because they don't deserve to eat with you like that. And until you see the truth, you don't have to keep dealing with this person. Some of y'all have been doing the same shit over and over and over again. Last seven years. Same shit. You ain't got no further than spirit. Say, it's time for you to ascend, baby. Okay, with this creative project. I've always told y'all twin flames are going to work together. It's something that they got to do. It's something that you have to experience this lifetime with this person. Okay? So clear yourself. Ask the angels to release any toxic energy that you may have absorbed by dealing with this Animated person is all I'm going to say. Animated person. Okay? Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress that you've made in remembering love in your daily activity. Because I do feel like you're somebody who's very loving and caring. You was just jumped to conclusions. Because she was like, but that don't make sense. But that don't make sense. But why would this person do that? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes shit. Who, did I say this already? If I did, just overlook it. But if I didn't, I'm going to say it again. You can meet people today that have better intentions for your life than people that you've known your whole life it's sad but it's true okay all right y'all i love y'all from the bottom of my feet till next time bye